first of all i think uh, i i must say i'm delighted to be a part of this forum give you a very quick uh, update on hotel international uh, we are now back into the global top 40 this is hans kadnan 30 plus countries 45 offices 250 consultants we are present across the globe and our differentiators we are all entrepreneurs each managing partner owns his business in his own country we are owner operators and every time it's our personal reputation on the line each time every time small enough to care large enough to deliver globally and in india each partner has ceo cxo level experience and we are adding more now every consultant calls himself an executive search consultant and a head hunter and us is there a difference between us answer is yes most of the consultants are contingency search consultants or recruitment guys uh, advertise portal middle to senior management level large number of players large volumes multiple consultants on a mandate contingency which means fees paid only when the person gets joins and what do you get hr professionals is the best available candidate when you come to us the six people on this on this panel uh, it's a different ball game altogether we are retained search consultants i would call us head hunters to differentiate us from the others proactive research followed by focused head hunting uh, usually passive candidates i'll give you an example later uh, usually top management we are best used at top management or senior management select number of players in our segment we are retained by the client on exclusive basis and what you get is the best possible candidate as opposed to the best available candidate now you see six people here all of us represent the executive search space what are our profiles we are senior professionals career search professionals with 20 plus years experience on a issue so or cxo level experience uh, prior experience and then executive search like prasad and myself usually domain and sector specialists the big difference is we are business and management consultants in the people space we are not recruiters if someone calls me a recruiter i feel a bit offended we are involved partners we take the trouble and insist on understanding the business plan the business imperative basis which you want to want to recruit we provide market feedback and suggestion we help refine and define specs and develop and execute a comprehensive search strategy we are veterans at interacting with people you saw deepak uh, all of us have done it and seen it most important we have a long term perspective we develop relationships uh, with clients and potential candidates and we are trusted advisors to both client and candidates we develop long relationship with client what kind of mandate mandates come to us strictly confidential specialized positions mission critical other sources methods have not worked i gave you the example earlier difficult to find passive candidates job and our company has to be promoted candidate has to be persuaded to look at the opportunity basis of our credibility in addition to the company and uh, raja ping me saying give an example so i'll give you an example year and a half back we were asked to do an md ceo position for a mid size financial services company the previous md ceo had left uh, there were some issues and uh, we were asked to get the best go for people who are from much bigger companies and get the best a brand if you wish into the company and uh, when well, we presented six people during the course of the search the chairman also left and each of these six people were from companies which are at least 10 to 20 times the size of the of the company that we were recruiting for and every one of those six seven candidates when we first spoke to them said dp are you serious do you really want me to look at this mandate and my answer was yes and here are five six reasons why you should cut a long story short six people presented themselves to the board one joined and uh, of course one only can join and uh, he's been there close to 2 years he's happy the board is happy and most important the stock market is happy because the market cap has gone up more than two times so therefore we are also brand ambassadors for the company and also for the candidate 
We work on a retained and exclusive basis engaged by the company. What do headhunters look for in a potential future candidate? Mid to long term potential because you're hiring for the future. A track record of demonstrated and progressive performance. It has to be progressive. You should have done better jobs. Cultural alignment and adaptability. Can you adjust to different cultures? Versatility, taking initiative, doing work out of the syllabus. Change and transformation orientation. Have you been a part of change? Can you adjust to change? Because when you're going into another organization, it's usually a transformation or a change agenda. Clarity of thought and purpose, which I mentioned earlier. Will he or she bring value, value add to the organization is what we would look for. Next one. I mentioned value and value add twice. So if it's a HR and you want to go up the CHR route, uh, what value do you bring as an HR professional? Do you have experience in business HR, PMA, STA, OD, uh, special projects like wellness, transformation, digitalization is the latest one, handling great resignation, employee branding uh, is, is your positioning as a uh, HR professional, your value as an HR professional. And what value do you bring to the value add do you bring to the table? Do you have cross-functional experience? Do you have PNL business experience, uh, leadership and special projects? Is he or she an asset to an organization that I'm hiring for? And is he a long-term one? Today's buzzword is most CHROs, just go back, Gerard, please. Most CHROs want to become CEOs, right? Uh, Lena is the latest example. There have been many CHROs earlier who become CEOs. My good friend Raman Madok became a CHR CEO at 43. Uh, there's Ashish Shivastav sitting in PNB MetLife, and I'm sure there are many more like that. In fact, the latest one is CEOs want doing HR. Uh, if you read the papers, uh, Nidin Pradanjpe is uh, handling HR now. So the point is, if you want to go that route, first of all, be very clear where you want to be and work towards it, get the right experience that you have, right? Uh, do the next one, please. Quick one on do's and don'ts. Uh, again, directed towards all of you if you want to, you know, get our attention and become. Build relationships, especially when you're not looking for a career transition. Remain visible. I mentioned controlled quality and relevant. Very important. And this one may surprise a lot of you and may not go well with quite a few, but nevertheless, I think it's very important. Your CV, your profile should be short and sweet. Maximum one to two pages. Raja will 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 relate to this. In IMAX, we were not allowed to do anything more than one and a half page. I see CVs which are five pages, very well drafted by professional uh, uh, CV writers. All of them look the same. They don't mean much. A CV is you. It is representing you. Do it yourself. Get professional help, but keep it short and simple. Leave something for the headhunter or the interviewer uh, to, to discover, right? Some don'ts, don't call us only when you need us. Call and expect to be attended to immediately. Ronesh gave an example, people keep calling. Please do, we will give you attention. We won't also want to talk to you. And last but not the least, be approachable yourself. Relationship is always a two-way process. So folks, that's what I have to say. Focus was on, on getting you getting hunted by us. And thank you very much together to the top. Thanks so much for your crisp and very clear presentation on what, what you look for. And that I'm sure is going to be very helpful for most of the participants here. You know, thank I you. have one question uh, to ask you, you know, uh, Many times when the headhunters come to us or even HR guys look at us, uh, how important is the length or years of experience against the quality of experience? Because many times you say, I have 40, 14 years of experience or 20 years of experience. But is that relevant or the quality relevant? The length gives you maturity, but, but it's the quality which matters. I mean, you have CEOs at 35, 40, it's the quality which matters, but more than quality and the length is your learnability. Can you adapt? Uh, I think uh, Deepak mentioned resilience. Do you have that? Can you pick up things? It's, it's nice to have experience and quality experience, but what do you bring to the table? Is it relevant to the next assignment? That is what I think most of us would look for. 